Happy New Year to you all! Are you motivated to improve your diet in 2021? Maybe lose a few pounds? Health depends on your long-term dietary habits. Make sure whichever healthy changes you implement will stick. And if you don't know what to do or how to do it, we are here to help. How diet affects health. There are various aspects to eating healthy. We obviously need to cover all essential nutrients, but how we do this matters. Are we overeating calories? Are we subjecting ourselves to critical substances? Do we get enough antioxidants and phytonutrients? These aspects play an essential role in our health, especially in reducing the risk for chronic diseases. Food is a package deal. You can find essential nutrients in junk food, but that's not a good reason to eat it, right? The best package in terms of calorie density, critical substances, antioxidants and phytonutrients are whole plant foods. Vegetables, fruits, whole grains, legumes and nuts and seeds. Critical substances. If you worry about pesticides and fresh produce, look up the Dirty Dozen and Clean 15. These are lists of the dirtiest and cleanest produce in terms of pesticide contamination. It's still much better to eat lots of fresh fruits and vegetables with some pesticide residue than eating none. Most environmental toxins are in fact found in dairy products and fish due to bioaccumulation along the food chain. You can easily substitute dairy products with plant-based alternatives and fish with plant-based omega-3 sources like walnuts and ground flax seeds. There are various other critical substances in our food like trans and saturated fat advanced glycation end products, heme iron, and many more. In terms of actual food, they are primarily found in animal products, processed foods, and tropical vegetable oils. Macronutrients It is important what you eat to cover your macronutrients. The exact macronutrient ratio is secondary. You should get at least 50% of your calories from carbs, 10% from protein, and 10% from fat. This leaves some room for variability. Still, you should not overdo protein or fat. 15% from protein is a good amount. 20% when in a calorie deficit. As for fat, anything between 15 and 25% is good, mainly from polyunsaturated fats and monounsaturated fats. The most important takeaways are Carbs are not the enemy, it's the type that matters. Don't worry about getting enough protein. Be careful with unhealthy fats, so saturated and trans fats. Go for whole plant food fat sources, such as nuts, seeds, avocados and olives. If you eat real food, you don't really need to worry about macronutrients at all. Soft drinks and alcohol. If you think changing your diet is too complicated, or it is not under your direct control, then just start with your beverage choices. The less soft drinks and alcohol you consume, the better. Both have really no benefit for your health, quite the contrary. If you are overweight or obese, reducing or avoiding soft drinks and alcohol completely might already lead to significant weight loss over time. Go for water and fruit and herbal tea, but don't go overboard. Do not drink more than 3 cups in 1 hour. Salt and Sugar High salt intake can be a risk factor for high blood pressure, one of the leading causes of death worldwide. It is also associated with obesity, stomach cancer and kidney stones. About 1 in 4 people is salt sensitive, which is a risk factor for cardiovascular mortality and other diseases like asthma, independent of blood pressure. Salt consumption should be below 6 grams per day. But going below 3 grams can be beneficial, alongside increased potassium intake. Be careful with processed foods, cheese and baked goods. Refined sugar has no nutrients and just adds empty calories. The less refined sugar you eat, the better. Excess sugar consumption is associated with obesity and various other diseases. It might be a good idea to replace store-bought sweets with fruits, dried fruits and homemade treats. Check out our video on sugar substitutes to learn more about that. Meat and dairy products. Red meat and all processed meat products are classified as carcinogenic, so they likely contribute to cancer development. 
As all nutrients found in meat can be found in plant foods, there is no need to eat these carcinogenic foods. The benefits of avoiding meat include lower blood pressure, reduced risk for type 2 diabetes, heart disease and cancer, along with weight loss benefits. Whole grains, legumes, leafy green vegetables and nuts and seeds are much better packages for the nutrients typically found in meat. Dairy products contain a lot of saturated fat, which increases your blood LDL cholesterol. Not to forget about the mammalian growth hormones like estrogen and IGF-1, which in excess are linked to cancer growth. Calcium is also found in dark green leafy vegetables and tofu, and is even absorbed better from plant foods. There are healthier, hormone-free cheese alternatives based on fermented nuts. Eat more fiber. Fiber is often ignored, but it is essential for our gut health. If you are suffering from digestive problems like constipation or stomach pain regularly, chances are you are fiber deficient. Only 5% of the US population eats the recommended amount of fiber on a daily basis. You should eat at least 30 grams of fiber per day, but it also does not harm you if you eat 50 grams or more. Fiber will help your digestion and will even make you feel satiated faster and for longer. It's even shown to reduce your cancer risk and helps you to lose weight. It also plays an important part in your hormone balance and immune function. You'll find fiber only in whole plant foods. Animal products have no fiber. Eat berries, whole grains and legumes for a quick fiber boost. How to persevere Are you overwhelmed by all the information? Start slowly and step by step. Make yourself a plan on how you can improve your diet gradually. Maybe you could first substitute your white grain products with whole grain products. Then drink your coffee or tea without sugar. Or restrict your alcohol consumption to the weekends. If your new dietary habits start to stick, go for some more healthy changes. If possible, find friends or family members that are supportive of your dietary changes. This will help you to stick to them. If you had a bad day, do not give up on eating healthy completely. Your next meal is a new chance to make the most out of your plate. Thanks for watching our video. What are your other New Year's resolutions? We wish you good luck with your dietary changes. You can ask us anything in the comments down below. See you next week!